Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is the Santa Pace Sewer Camera, an essential tool, especially for what I'm about to get into. Uh, this is the model S8951DM. It has a 100 foot or 30 meter uh, cable, uses uh, a sapphire coated camera. Uh, this is a 1080p camera, it does have uh, uh, built-in LEDs with adjustable brightness, comes in this watertight foam-lined case that just holds everything, plus has the integrated 9-inch HD screen on it. But what I'm up against um, basically is some old work here. Uh, on this old property, there's at least two septic systems, uh, and one of them has just collapsed. I'm also dealing with um, uh, the possible old propane underground propane systems so just because there are pipes doesn't mean it's it's plumbing um, but anyway what I've got uh, ahead of me is first of all to figure out how big a problem a um, a collapsed septic tank is if that's what it is um, and then also to figure out the uh, the vent pump or vent pipes around the property to see if they're connected to something active um, if so, where is that active site? Because I'll be working underground. Um, this is a simple interface, this user interface. You've got a 5x zoom. You've got recording capabilities with audio. You can take still images. Most of the stuff I'm going to do here is actually going to be uh, just filming on screen because that is more realistic to me. Um, of how you're using it rather than reviewing the documents. You've got a menu system so you can make adjustments. Uh, the default recording length is three minutes. You can set that up to 10 minutes if you'd like. Um, but it's all right here. Very simple operation. You can play, record, review. Um, the cable on this thing is just the right stiffness. Um, it allows you to manipulate it. Uh, it can go around general larger pipe bends without any problem. Remember, this is a sewer camera, not a drain camera. You can see I do have a, a micro SD card um, that uh, comes with it. This was this was a 32 gigabyte one. You can put it up, I think, to 128 gigabytes, so you can record an awful lot of stuff on there. Um, which is great. Comes with a handful of different accessories, um, the basic stuff to um, manipulate the camera through a pipe. Um, the, the screwdrivers are for attaching that larger collar. That's uh, a good centering, but also keeps the camera from dragging along the bottom of whatever it is. I have two cameras here. They sent me an extra one, or more advanced one. This does have a 512 megahertz transmitter in it, this larger head camera, which means if I've got a receiver, um, I can actually locate it underground, which is pretty important if you're doing anything that has, um, uh, you know, angles and twists and turns and you're not sure where the thing's going to end up. Um, overall, uh, these cameras are just razor sharp. And again, like I mentioned, they've got sapphire covers, so they're going to be hopefully harder than anything, unless you're flushing diamonds down the drain, which I guess can happen. Um, anyway, it's a 12-volt system. Uh, it does have a or excuse me, 4,500 milliamp battery. So you get about six to eight hours of runtime on this thing. Um, got a little wheeled collar there that allows it to uh, stay centered um, and uh, maybe above the water if you've got a half-filled pipe. Most drain pipes drain out, but we'll see. Uh, you can easily adjust um, or, or take off the uh, cable connections, but the box closes just fine with them connected. So, okay, what do we have? First of all, there are these drain pipes. They're set, we're not drain pipes. I think they're vent pipes. Totally exposed. They've got like window screen wrapped around them. Here's a collapsed, what I think is an old septic system. Um, let's take a deviation for a second. These sewer cameras not only are for things like this, you know, working with pipes, septic systems, whatever, but they're also for rescue. Uh, if you can imagine um, collapsed buildings or underground um, situations where you may need to like snake a camera through to see if there's a person trapped or something like that. So there is, uh, you know, a, another element to these things. But anyway, what I'm worried about here is I don't know how big this is. Um, it collapsed. I've got overhanging old cement. Um, so what I'm going to do and I'm going to do this differently, uh, you know, when I'm not trying to video it as well. 
Um, but I don't know how much more it's going to collapse. I want to see how big these these caverns are under here and also what the composition of the material is because I'm going to have to either dig them out um, or, you know, hand fill them with something and then fill the hole. And then I'm, I'm trying to avoid breaking any old cement because then I've got a cement project as well, you know, for the sidewalk. But anyway, uh, so what I'm doing is watching what's going on with the... Um, of the material as I drive this camera down. And again, that's where the flexibility and stiffness kind of um, can, the, the perfect arrangement um, of a good cable allows you to, you know, both thread it through something, but also control it. So I'm just looking around what's going on inside there, how big it is, um, what's it full of, if I can tell. Um, and then I can go back and review all of this, too, to try to see if there's other stuff. Maybe I need to get down in there with a flashlight or um, uh, some some bigger project. Maybe just dig down and try to get rid of it. My guess is maybe they installed a septic system, and for the tank, they used a 55-gallon drum. I don't know. I'm, it's these old homes. You know, you got Earl down there. He buys the greater attachment for his tractor, so suddenly he becomes the person who's you know, the the road engineer, and there's Mike, he's got a big table saw, so he's the carpenter, uh, you know, and then there's Bob, who uh, suddenly becomes the landscape engineer. Why? Because he's got a backhoe. There you go. But anyway, um, now what I'm doing is trying to figure out where this, this, what I believe is a vent pipe is going. So I've taken the screen off, um, which literally is a window screen duct taped over the top of this pipe and I am running a running the um, Santa Pay sewer cam down it now the Santa Pay this one has a um, uh, an indicator of distance so as I slide this down I'm also getting a read of how far the camera has gone um, into the system so it's a little uh, digital display right there you can see um, try to get this uh, so I'm at 18 almost 19 feet down that tube. Um, and you can see I've also got the 12 volt output. Um, so it is keeping a battery indicator um, alive or, or telling me what's going on. But anyway, as I keep sliding this down, I'm trying uh, to figure out where it's going and what it's doing. See, right now I just entered water. So at about 22 feet, 22 and a half feet is water. Why is there water in there? Did I just go through a trap? Did I go down and back up? I'm going to have to spend some time trying to figure that out. And now I'm back up above the water. And obviously this thing's scrolling along the bottom of the of the tube. So it dried out. So somewhere there there is a connection. And occasionally I'll see things off to the side. So now I'm at 26 feet, almost 27 feet. Um, so I've gone almost 10 more feet. So there's there's a few feet of water under there. But I'm, spoiler alert, nowhere near the end of this thing. Now, I'm guessing that this is running either under or along what is newer construction because the house was expanded a little bit by maybe 30 years ago and probably built it over the top of this. So now I've got a drain field potentially at the edge of the house and the plumbing running under the house for the septic. Uh, none of that's ideal. So I'll keep going and going and going. Um, this I'm also noticing the lines on the side of the pipe. That was obviously probably standing water. I don't know what that's about unless the septic at some point backed up and then kept material at a certain level enough to stain the edges of the pipe. Uh, you know, any DIY project you get into and you have no clue, you know, you're learning as you go, you start thinking about, you know, what is the information telling me? I'm at 44 feet here. That's that's maybe two-thirds of where I think I'm going to go, maybe half. Uh, just crazy. Um, again, the pipe looks fairly straight. I haven't come across anything. I'm at 46.7 feet here. It doesn't look like it's turning. It looks like a pretty straight pipe. But it's hard to tell. That's where having that, that transmitter receiver system might give me um, a better indication of what's going on. But none of that matters if it's running under the house because I, I guess I could maybe do it through a floor. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, 
So I'm continuing to go. Pretty soon this has got to hit something because it's not full of water, so it goes somewhere. Um, if it was full of water, standing water, I would assume that it just filled up. But how long it's been here, now I'm at 56 feet. Um, given how long it's been here, I think it would just be totally clogged up. Um, the other thing is, you know, I'm looking for cracks, etc., because, you know, this could freeze too. If uh, it backed up a little bit, held standing water, and that water froze. All right. So what I have is a, uh, a change. I've just entered into some kind of a chamber. Um, I'm 64 feet, and it looks like it drops down. That, I don't know if that's an optical illusion, so it looks like the camera just popped over the edge and is now, because of the flexible head, it's now pointing down, and there is a little tiny orifice at the bottom, which I do manage to hit right here. So as I drop in... Um, by the way, I was gonna. Th I thought about joking with this video and saying, you know, this am I biting off more than I can chew here with this project, or am I finding out where what I bit off and chewed went? Uh, in this case, probably both. But anyway, I've just dove down into that and I've turned up the LEDs and I cannot see much. I am in a septic tank, probably an active one. It's pretty disgusting. Yep, there's. There's what the camera sees. You can see how clear the logo is on this 9-inch uh, HD display. Um, so what I've got is a camera completely coated. So I'll get into some of the, maybe the hygiene in a moment. But anyway, so now that I've recorded all that, um, I'm at almost 70 feet out. I'm going to bring this all back, clean it all up. I've got to scrub down the camera because it's obviously been somewhere where you don't want to go. Um, the spool system on this is great. I can easily thread this right back into the box. It's a very simple design. In this case, I'm going to leave this camera on, but I could take it off too. There's a little receptacle to hold it um, right here. I can drop that in. It's mostly designed to have just the cap, but and then I've scrubbed it all down. I don't have to disconnect this, um, but if I want to, I can store it there. I can store the other parts. This I'm not putting it away because there's water inside it anyway, but it does come with a waterproof case, real solid, kind of like a Pelican case, and then it's got this metal frame that holds the spool. Uh, another reason I'm filming it all one hand is just to show you how simple and effective the design is. You don't really have to do much um, because it's it's so well put together. But anyway, this is the Santa Pace. S8951DM sewer camera. They did send me this. I need it. I've got a lot of work ahead, but uh, it, the price of something like this just disappears when you get into a big project. And with that, dock out.